<laughs> Pretty neat, right? It's been sitting in my wardrobe collecting dust for far too long. But now I finally got the chance to wear it. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit, are you? Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Seven hundred years. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Eurela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the Underworld are... cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Antilia, did you really think you could stop us? Yeah, darn it. I'm all out of ammo. Sir, we've just received word from the director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%. 60%? We're done for! Uh, attention all personnel! Evacuate the mine! Immediately! Erase all traces of your presence! <sighs> so, are we all good here, or what? We'll have stuff to take care of. The mine Branya message you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klipoth Fort! <laughs> These guys? Don't look like the By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Later, Captain. <laughs> 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 All of 
you! I know what to do. Wait! I have something to say to the Supreme Guardian. Uh, but... aren't you... Uh, Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Miss Himiko, from the Astral Express? I... It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous... campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the Architects would have given you a proper welcome. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. I hesitate to call it a solution, but it is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as... Information? Please, tell me what you know, Miss Himiko. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is... But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. You mean... Performing ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. She's undoubtedly... I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himiko. This information is of great help. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. Now that you've decided, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. Astral friends, I have an idea, but... For it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city. And then, I'll meet with Topaz again. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. Stay safe, everyone. Oh, hey there, Slowpokes. I was starting to think you weren't gonna show up. Hmm... This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, wow! I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Of course! The Nameless have quite the reputation. You're... I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I... Of course! 
The deadline has already passed, but Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors, but we have very dear friends on Urillo 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision ten minutes ago. <laughs> There's no fooling the ass. You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. So up. What do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. <laughs> You're there so many eager faces. Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the table. Go, Numby. Projects under my wing have no room for error. Tedious. Fleeting light, roaring flood. Seize the moment. Evil has begun. Savor the vigor of <laughs> Indestructible. Stand down and I'll spare you. A blade of moonlight. In lunar flame! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Better late than never. Nowhere to run! <laughs> Ready for death. <laughs> Customers are always welcome. Chill out! Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward! Uh, you pay for that! Time to go on the offensive. Laid fodder. <laughs> Fleeting light, roaring flood. Let <laughs> scratch. Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Save it for your own skin. I'm on guard. I'm okay. A 
blade of moonlight. In lunar flame! A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! Good omens! Fight us one! Nowhere to run! <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. You're in bad shape. Fracture. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward. Blade fodder. <laughs> All will be revealed. In lunar flame! Customers are always welcome. Evil's begun. The Astral Express is so highly regarded. Finished warming up? Now it's my turn. Stop! All of you, put down your weapons! Uh, Branya! Oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian? I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the Express crew to fend for them. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. Uh, more important than this? Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Hmm. That's interesting. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz. And your childhood experiences, your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yarillos. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, I hope we can still find... I have to admit, talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my... I admire your determination, seeing as we've this far. I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step. Members of the Express, we'll need your help too. <sighs> what a dismal sight. This district. Have you been here before? Sorry for the delay. Are we clear? The path ahead is clear. Excellent. Let's go. What is this place? We've never been here before, right? <laughs> We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? 
I thought you might. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Bellabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion, and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore the... <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and... Not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> well, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our if we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and the outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. I must say, I didn't. <sighs> I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IP unless... Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the Nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. Fantastic. That might just work. I'll handle it. Miss Topaz, you mentioned account- <sighs> Don't worry, it's, it's nothing. That's unlikely. At most, they might just lower my- uh, Thank you so much for all you've done. I never thought we'd drag the Express into a crisis again. Rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. <laughs> Seventeen? I think I might know who you're talking about. Uh, you could say he's, um, special. <laughs> um, well, Miss Topaz. Ah, uh, I have... It's been great. 